All right, we are going to use the Little Sound DJ emulator to create a chiptune track. So the first thing you want to do, once you've downloaded the uh, the files, is open the emulator that is applicable to you, whether you're on Mac or, or a Windows computer. I'm running a Mac, so I'll open the Mac emulator. And once your emulator is decompressed, you can open it, and you'll want to run uh, the lsdj.gb file from within it. You could leave it there. I'm just going to put it in the same folder for now. Double click on it to open it. Yep. And then this is the emulator. So file, open. And then I'm just going to navigate to the download that I had and lsdj.gb. Game Boy ROM images. Here we go. And here it is. Fantastic. So the first thing you want to do once you have it open is because we're doing this on an emulator and not on an actual Game Boy is set up your keys. And if you have a look at the layout of the Game Boy, I feel like it makes sense to kind of do something that emulates this setup. So we've got a D-pad on the left hand side. Um, so maybe let's start with that. Commonly on a computer keyboard, um, we'd use for a left hand side D-pad A, S, W and D. So A, S, W and D. So let's do that. And to do that, um, in on the Mac version of the emulator, you go to settings and inputs. Now on the Windows one, you'll have to just find the equivalent, but there will be a place for you to um, select and input um, specific keys to move around your Game Boy. And this one, well, this already has it. So up is W, S is down, left is A, right is D. Now if we look here, the configuration of the B and the A key, um, B is on the left and A is on the right. So I think that maps nicely to like, I don't know, maybe like period and comma or L and K. Let's see what I had here. I've got L and K. I'm going to change that to period and comma. So I click in the space and then I click period and this one I'm going to press comma. Start seems like spacebar is a great idea. And then even though I'm actually pressing option on my computer, it comes up as alt, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's going to be start. Oh, select is actually on the left, but it makes so much sense for me to have start as spacebar because that's like it is on every other compu music computer so software. And so select I'll have as my option key, which is showing up as alt. So now I can use the um, up and down keys. So W goes up, S goes down. For some reason I can't go left and right. What's going on there? Go back into my settings, check. Oh, I, I messed it up somehow, so worth checking. W is up, S is down, left is A, D is right. So there you go, user error. All right, now I can go left, right, up, and down. Um, if you've watched the video I linked in the introduction, you'll see that we can change pages by holding down A. So we're currently on the song page. If I hold down A, which is period for me, and then press right. Oh no, that's gonna create a new chain. That's cool, so left and right and A create a new chain. It's select, which for me is option, um, which moves left and right through chains. And up and down. So holding down option allows you to navigate through the little map that's down the bottom right. Through from the song page, to the chain page, to the phrase page, to the instrument page. So um, that's hopefully helped you set up your keys. It takes you a little while to remember what you've set as the uh, as the keys, but once you get it, you'll be flying around. See you in the next vid.